Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So let me give it some time so some people will join us. Welcome to Corporate Sex Mondays. Yes. Mm. Oh, today it felt good. I did a little bit of meditation and I felt good about it. Yes, I did. I felt good about it. Hello, 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 and welcome to Coffee Sex Mondays. My name is Angel Loma. I'm a sex coach and I teach about sex, relationship, and healthy tips to give you a healthy looking lifestyle. If today is your first time joining us live on Facebook, yes, this program is on Facebook every Monday, 6 p.m. Nigerian time. So if today is your first time joining us, live on facebook you are welcome thank you thank you for joining please write down where you are watching from so that you can you know meet other people too so you say welcome i'm watching from here okay we want to know where you're watching from uh, sandra you're welcome annie lovett you're welcome engineer Izu garba you are welcome okay thank you for being here thank you thank you thank you so my people are here like in camp yes my special vip people do you know who are my vip people mm -hmm. they are my whatsapp members they are my vvips yes they are my special people those are the ones that have a personal relationship with me you on facebook yes you have a relationship but it's not very personal exactly but those that are on my whatsapp group have a personal relationship with me and i want to thank you all thank you for trusting me and being with me on the whatsapp and if you want to join the whatsapp group if you want to be among my vvips you can send a message in the inbox and tell me on facebook facebook inbox or instagram inbox you know the name right angeloma two 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 you can send a message on the inbox and then you ask me that you want to join the whatsapp group if you send me in the live on the comment session angela ma add me and you put your number i won't add you and you don't want that now if you're watching on replay on youtube you are welcome too yes you didn't watch it live you're watching the replay but that's not bad you can still comment below what you think about it, where you're watching from, and if you enjoyed the show, okay? And follow us on Facebook so that you can join us live next time, okay? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Click the notification bell so that you get notified whenever we upload videos every week. Yes, we upload videos every week. Thank you for being here. And I want to give special kisses to my special people. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> thank you thank you thank you okay so it's a couple sex mondays ik is watching from italy and um somebody is watching from zambia vita from zambia you are welcome in the bc from usa thank you for being with us and everybody please tell me where you're watching from okay tell me where you're watching from i want to know where are you watching from be part of it okay let's get into that now the story of today is very short. Don't worry about it. It is very short. Somebody sent me a story. I'm happy that women are sending me their issues. I am really happy because most women don't speak up. But now women are speaking up and talking about their issues. And I'm able to see what I can do for them. So I'm really glad about this. So everybody that sent in their stories, their problems, I appreciate you. I'm happy you are able to talk about it. Because that's the first step to helping you. Okay, if you have any issue, any story, any problem, send a message, talk to somebody, talk to a coach, talk to a therapist, talk to a doctor. Don't go and talk about your sexual problems with a pastor that is not trained to be a coach or a therapist. They might know the spiritual part, but they don't know the sexual part. Okay, all right, let's get into the story of the day. Um, today's story. I'm going to read it one time, then I'm going to put down the number to call because this is a show that you can call in, right? You can call me on my number and then you tell me what you think about it. Please don't call on WhatsApp. Don't call on WhatsApp. Call on number, on the number directly. So I'm going to read the story now and then we get into it. Dear Angel Alma, are you listening? Are you ready? Dear Angel Alma, I'm a mother of four. So she's four children. And I'm grateful my husband has a good 
job, a very good job actually, she said, very good job, a very good job to take care of the family. That's good. The workload isn't much on me because he also provided a house help. That's a good husband. Okay, but something suddenly changed about me. My man's dick irritates me now. Even when I have the intention of having fun in the night, immediately I open, I just go off. Please, what do I do? Like I said, it's a very short uh, story because the person just went straight to the point and um, I didn't have the chance to get in all the information that I needed to get in, but I can guess some of them. So apparently, she's a mother of four, so she's been married for a long time, if not four children. Even if you started having kids, really you have children, at least it should have been about six, seven, eight or nine years in marriage already. So that one is settled. Now, she has a good husband who is not stressing her with housework and all that. So she has a house help that supports the house. And then she has, her husband has a very good job. So she don't have a lot of issues on that part either. So money to take care of the home is not a big problem. But the problem is the fact that she is not having sexual desire for her husband anymore. Even when she actually put in her mind, hey, it's not good. Though. I need to have sex with my husband. She finds out that when she opens her leg or when she, you know, when in the night, She's not having that interest. Now she's asking us, what do you think is going on? Now, this story is about this woman. But I got almost a similar story. Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, while I'm talking, let me write down the number you can call me on. Um, you can call me on. Um, you can save the number because it's the same number every time. Every Monday, you can use the same number. So you can call in on plus two, three, four. Let me write that down. Plus two three four seven zero seven seven zero right four four eight eight seven zero nine five plus two three four I hope I got that right plus two three four seven zero four four eight eight seven zero nine five okay so that's the number to call in I'm gonna pin it down what happened to my face. What happened to my face? <laughs> um, let me pin it down, okay? All right. So I pinned it down so that I wonder what is going on. Why is this so? Is that better? I think it is. Okay. Well, my face is looking funny. Okay. I think that's better. Okay, I think that's better. It's a little bit dark, but we can we're gonna manage it today. I don't know what is going on with our lighting, but yeah, we just have to talk about it. So this woman in question is not having feelings for her husband anymore after four kids. So we cannot say she don't used to have sex with her husband before because now she has four kids. Just imagine. I'm sweating. <laughs> okay, so like I was saying, eh, I have a similar, like a really identical, similar story. A man sent me some time ago. This man said that he has he's been married for about three years. And after the wife had the first child, he lost sexual attraction for her. Every time, you know, every time he wants to have sex with her, he just can't feel it. He doesn't feel himself. He's not, he's not there. But that does not mean that when he's not with her, he wants, he desires his wife. But when he's with her, it doesn't come. And then at the time I had a, a section with him. Suddenly I got this question where a woman is saying, I have four children and now I can't have, I'm not having feelings for my husband anymore. And I don't know what to do about it. So now is it the same story the difference might be the duration of time and how many children they have so if you're calling me please let's address the issue not because it's a man or is a woman let's address the issue of the fact that a couple cannot you know a man or a woman is losing attraction for 
his partner or her partner between the time that they had children. So after they had children, they lost attraction for that. So please call me and tell me what you think about this, please. I, the number to call is plus 234-7044-887095, okay? That's the number to call me. Tell me where you're calling from and give me your own suggestion. So the topic is about a woman who's, um, let me keep the phone to call me just around the corner so that when you call in, I will know that you call in. I'm hoping that 5G will not stress us out today like it did last week. Please call me on the phone available. Let me write down the topic. Okay. After children, wife lost attraction for her husband. For her husband. Okay, that's the topic of the day. Okay, so just so you know. Now, remember, I'm going to read the story one more time. It's very short, so it's not something I have to read for long. So listen, for those that are just joining me. Dear Angel Oma, I am a mother of four and I'm grateful my husband has a very good job. So you can see she has a very good job um, to take care of the family. The workload isn't much on me because he provided a house help you see he provided a house help, but something suddenly changed in me my man's dick irritates me the word she used was irritate that means she doesn't fancy it anymore it's just not what it used to be or what's you know how she used to feel because it was not irritating her before it just started happening even when i have intentions of having fun in the night that means sometimes you just have to talk to herself i want to have sex with my husband but still immediately i open i go off that means she turns off please what do i do all right so it's time to call in um you can write your contribution if you can't call in if you're living abroad please put the, the number the, the code number plus two three four if you're calling um so that you can get me um women and their problem no they finish that is not true that is not true at all we don't get problem everybody get problem both man and woman okay after child um please do not disturb me this time after children wife lost a truck i just nothing is wrong with her the only way to spice up her marriage is to go on a vacation with her husband shower together and they should rent a very small hotel and also shop together okay so this person is just saying you just need to spice things up by going on a trip you know going shopping with him taking your bath together and some other thing that is a good contribution you did well a woman can stay with a man while she is already dumped she already dumped him in his mind meanwhile the lady said something something suddenly changed so the story remained incomplete why do you think the story remained incomplete that is not true i think the story is complete because you can suddenly start feeling different about how you used to feel okay it is natural it is normal that it hasn't happened to you doesn't mean that it, ha it doesn't happen to people you can you can fancy something today and then you find out that after a few years after a few times you just don't fancy the same thing that you used to fancy a lot okay so don't say it like that some people said women are complicated life itself is complicated it has nothing to do with just women like i said the reason why i brought this up is not because it's a woman only but because i have gotten the same story with a man a man has told me that he lost attraction for his woman after she gave back to the first child only one child though he doesn't have feelings for her anymore so now a woman has four children and is she's losing attraction for her husband and you're saying women are complicated you see it's, it's it's you're being biased in that sense so call me and let's talk about it okay the number to call is plus two three four seven zero four four eight eight seven zero nine five somebody said i'm looking good thank you my signature hair <laughs> And my smile yeah <laughs> thank you so much thank you how can i tell 
how can I tell me? How, well, I, I, I didn't get that. How can I? Um, how? What's going? <laughs> it just keeps going off. Unfortunately, how can I tell women to look good after three kids? I don't understand. Is that a different question altogether? I mean, that's not the question we're talking about today. So you have to you have to send a message and tell your story in the inbox. Okay. Um, the woman is texting someone she used to love or seeing someone else. I do not agree with that either. Nope, nope, nope. She is not doing that. She's not doing that. She's not, she didn't say that. So don't put that in her mouth. Hello. Hi, Angela. Good evening. Hi, good evening. I love this <laughs> voice. It's beautiful. Yeah. What, <laughs> what's your name and where are you calling from? Okay, I am Gloria Saudi. I'm calling from the United Kingdom. Hi, Gloria Manchester from UK. UK. You're, Hi. you're welcome. Yeah, thank you for the good job that you're doing. Thank um, you. This is really one of the things that is actually affecting so many marriages these days. But um, I would like to say that um, if she did not find that attraction that was there from the beginning, yeah, she should try there must be something that is putting her off. Yes. It could be that the man is not, you know, maintaining a good personal hygiene. Mm -hmm. It could be that the man is not really, um, you know, um, you know, um, finding himself with those things that he was doing from the beginning that, you know, was keeping her happy mm -hmm. and making her, you mm -hmm. know, always to be, um, you know, attractive to, to him, you yes. know, because there are some things that men will do that will always want you to find your you find yourself in their arms, in their presence. Yes. And then when they are not there, you feel like always being around them. Mm -hmm. So if this man's attention is taken away from her, yes. maybe by other things and she feels that she's no longer he's no longer giving her the attention because preparation for this thing we are talking about is not only when it is time in the evening in yes. the bedroom mm -hmm. it starts from even in the morning mm. when you wake up from from sleep those love languages that you were telling each other there you you, you just give start the day with some of those red sending texts in at work you know those, those, some of just those, those little things, things that women them. used to get spiced up on exactly mm. you know the, the, the man might not be doing it again, but she should initiate it. She just try and we keep, you know, keep start her own emotions again. Okay. By the time she does it, it will just help her. Get that. Okay. So you're it. saying she should yeah. identify those things that she used to like that is not there yeah. and try to initiate exactly. those things back. It will help mm -hmm. to get back yeah. to the flare. All right. Thank you so much, Gloria, exactly. for calling in. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, so Gloria called in from UK, and as a woman, she's speaking from the female perspective, because I've been noticing men saying she has another man, she's texting somewhere, women are complicated, women are this one, women are that one, women are that. You've not even talked about the problem, and you've not talked about the solution, you're just complaining. But anyway, Gloria said that it's that for the fact that she said suddenly, it means that there is something that changed. She should identify that particular thing that changed, and work on it. She can even initiate it. If it's something that changed in her husband, she can initiate it and get the spark back. Thank you so much for that contribution. Hello? Hello? Can you get me clear? Yes, I can. Welcome. Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Um, my name is Nsonda. I'm a Zambian, but I'm calling from... Okay, you're calling from Zambia? No, 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 I'm calling from the United States. Okay, you're calling from the United States, but you're a Zambian. You are welcome to the show. I'm Zambian. Okay, go ahead and tell us, what do you think about this? So, I think what, what, I, what I can contribute, um, you know, um, being, being in a marriage and having four children, mm -hmm. we, we just don't know how old the first child and the second child, then the fourth child, Mm -hmm. How old they are. Yes. These people they've been married for a longer period of time. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Yes, they have. So, so a woman to reach to an extent to say, I'm put off with whatever he does. Mm -hmm. Initially, this man has been in in life terms, has been dumped a long time ago. 
the man has been dumped. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, like in short, the the the, the simple um, language that I can use. In the mind, this man has been divorced. He was divorced a long time ago. Mm. But now we are looking for situations, for a solution, mm -hmm. or what solutions can work mm -hmm. for these people to get back together, or for her to have the feelings back, again, uh, the same feelings that uh, she used to have. Mm -hmm. I've, I've been in a situation like that before, whereby you're dating somebody you don't know, or you're being with somebody you don't know that they they rejected you a long time ago. Where since when? Mm. So, so you have been in this kind of situation where you you lost somebody and after a while you lost attraction for the person. In it, actually, the woman that I used to be with lost mm -hmm. uh, attraction just like that. Well. Oh, she lost attraction yes. for you. Exactly. Oh, okay, so now in this particular case, what do you think this woman can do to bring back to that spice? This is the woman to accept that she needs to be helped. Okay, she already accepted. That's the reason why she told the story. Exactly. All of us just don't cut me short. All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, 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 no. We are good. We are good. The whole reason why I'm saying this, when a person reaches to that extent of saying, I am put off, it's very difficult for them to turn back and say, okay, Yes, this can work. Okay. So she has to accept, first of all, to say things can work. Yes. With the people, the audience, with the help of the audience like this one, okay. things can work. Mm -hmm. If she accepts that mm -hmm. and she wants to get solutions from us, mm -hmm. things will work very well. Okay. So the first thing, we don't know where she's put off. Is it sexually or sometimes? Like I heard um, the woman from um, the other lady from UK say, small things. Of course, there are some small things that really make you women happy. Just maybe sometimes I'll just give you a very good example, mm -hmm. whereby um, um, there are times maybe you come back from work, you find your the woman in the house, and uh, you, you 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 haven't gone out anywhere. Sometimes mm -hmm. you just want to be complimented, or maybe you just uh, say, okay, can we take a walk? No, we are not going to drive. Let's just take a walk. Mm -hmm. Let's take a walk. Maybe let's go into the streets. Um, maybe have um, some dinner in the streets. Just the two of us, no kids. Do mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. Sometimes men, they tend to be so busy. Okay. So if she has reached to a point where um, she's not feeling the man, I don't know if it is sexually, emotionally, or what. Mm -hmm. Let her talk to the man where the man is listening. Mm. Because sometimes people, you might not know that they are, um, they, their feelings are, are off. Mm. You know? Mm. Mm. Let, let her find time to talk to the man. Okay, darling, my love, my whatever they call themselves, mm -hmm. my husband. This is what I miss. Mm. Those days you come back from work. Communication. Days, exactly. Yes. Those days you come, maybe, you know, I'll, 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 I'll tell you something, but you see, I don't know what you call that in Nigeria. The, the street foods where they you, you get uh, maize, the fresh maize, then you, you roast it in the street. and uh, Barbecue? And, uh, and, 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 and exactly, you do the barbecue, the, mm -hmm. the maize, like that. Mm. So, so they can do some fun things and then talk about the issue they have. I'm sorry I'm cutting you. That's because other people are also calling in so we can take as much calls in, okay? So you're saying if she identifies the problem that she knows she has an issue, then she should communicate to her husband about it, right? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Because right now, the man does not know what is going on. Okay. Only the lady knows what is going on. Let the lady discuss with the man. Mm -hmm. I mean, be he will see what he can do. Say, this is where you are missing it. Mm, all right. Thank you so and much for that contribution. Thank you. Thank you. All okay. Right. So he basically had to explain that. For the fact that the woman is saying she's being put off, that is being irritated about, you know, her husband's penis, because now she was mentioning penis, so that means it's sexual. 
he also identified that it might not just be sexual it might be other things but in the sexual part that's the one she's identifying the most now knowing that you have a problem the next thing you need to do is to communicate to your husband because he might not even know that you're having this issue okay which is a very good point communication is very 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 important in marriages you can call me on the number below if you want to join the conversation okay hello uh, please put up your facebook so i can hear you please thank you hello are you there hello all right so if you want to call me please put off the facebook especially when i pick up the call don't be watching the facebook and the phone be on your ear because I'll be hearing myself in the background, okay? So put off your Facebook, call me. When I pick up the phone, just, you know, reduce the volume on the Facebook, um, uh, wherever you're using the Facebook on, okay? Thank you so much about that. Remember, what we're talking about is a lady that has four children and she never complained about her husband's financial capability because the husband have a very good job. She's not complaining about housework being overloaded and stressful for her because she has a help in the house that supports the house functioning well. She is complaining that suddenly she's having this you know, feeling, which, you know, she's not enjoying her husband, you know, everything is just not working. Basically, her husband's dick, the word she used, irritates her all of a sudden because it was not like that. And now this is what she's going through. And she doesn't know why, because she herself intentionally wants to have sex with her husband. She wants to be with her man because she knows she needs to, right? But she is not feeling it and she really really need our help about this and just like her i had a man that had the same issue where he's saying that after a first child he lost attraction for his wife so call me and tell me what you think about it hello okay so um please can you put up your facebook hello okay please if you want to call me Put up the Facebook. If you have the Facebook on and you're calling me on another number, it's going to affect us because the one you're watching might be a little bit slower because of, you know, network and stuff like that. So put up the Facebook while you call me, okay? Hello? Hello? Hi, good evening, ma'am. Can you put up your Facebook, please? Okay. I'm doing that. Okay, Hello? that's better. What's your name and where are you calling from? You're welcome to the show. Okay, my name is Uju. I'm calling from Imo State, Imo State. Oh, you're welcome from Imo State. Imo State, 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 Imo Okay, my suggestion there is this. I was writing something on thirty seven before you pick it. Okay. See, in, like to me, maybe the lady might have find that that maybe the man was cheating on her, maybe one or twice. Okay. But she's finding it very difficult to discuss it with the man. Okay. So the best thing she would is just to find a way, sit with the man, discuss mm -hmm. it, and mm -hmm. forget about it. Okay. That is the next thing there. Okay, so if in the case where she found out something is wrong with the marriage because yes. the husband did something wrong and she doesn't know how yes. to say it and is affecting her, she should discuss yeah. it with the man and, because, uh, and, mm -hmm, forget, it. and forget about it. So forgive, yeah. that's what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, thank you so much, Uju, for calling in. Thank you. So, Mrs. Uju actually is saying exactly what the last caller was saying, which is find out what the issue is, identify that there is an issue, talk about it. That's just it, right? So, yes, I know some people say, maybe this, maybe that, maybe that, maybe that. The truth of the matter is we don't really know, right? So we can just assume maybe this is the issue, maybe that is the issue, maybe that is the issue. So that's what it's about. If you have commented before and you want to call in, please, you can still call in. The number is still 0 plus 234-7044-8870. The number is on the screen. It is pinned down there so you can actually see it you can call in and give your contribution also tell us where you're watching from because you can meet somebody 
you know, you don't know somebody that is where you are watching from. Okay. So call in, tell us what you think about it. And we would definitely have this conversation because a lot of people, truly, a lot of people are going through this same situation. A woman can stay with a man while she already dumped him in his mind. Hmm. Meanwhile, the lady said something suddenly changed in her. So the story is like, uh oh, in heaven, it's calling me. <laughs> Please do not call me on WhatsApp, okay? Do not call me on WhatsApp. If you call me on WhatsApp, you are disrupting the show because the phone. Is like... Yes, somebody is calling me on my WhatsApp, and that is terrible. Please do not do that. Okay, so you can call on the number on the screen. Direct call, please. Direct call. Uh-oh, the, the number just went off. Somebody was trying to call and the network um, is cutting us off. I'm sorry, you can write your contribution. Maybe she doesn't have time for you even to take good care of herself. Hmm. I don't, I don't, I don't really get that one. She should also have a conversation with him about anything she has found that is not good, okay? She has tested another penis and she should stop deceiving herself. Feeling is a matter of the heart, like you know what you want. I don't agree with you on that. I do not agree that she has tested another dick. If she has tested another dick and it is another dick she tested that is making her feel this particular way, she would say the truth of the matter is I cheated and I have not felt the same way ever again. Because now remember, she's anonymous. Nobody knows her. So she can actually sell the truth just because she needs solution to her problem. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Um, I cannot answer that now because I'm still on the show. So if you can call me after the show, that will be okay. All right. Huh? You can call me after the show for us to speak on private. Okay. Okay. But I actually have something to contribute, but I don't know what to say on speaker. That's why. Um, I, it's, it's, I don't, don't know how I'm going to answer that without being on speaker because do you want to say it and then I have to interpret it to them? They have to wait for you to finish saying. So you can just say, go ahead. Nobody's going to even know it's you, right? I know, but all this is, I just want to say, uh, anyway, I'm coming from Germany, but I just want to say this. All right. You know what? Um, why don't you send it via the WhatsApp and maybe I can read it out from there, okay? You can type it out on WhatsApp and then I can read it out from there. Is that okay? Okay. Or you I can text. I will be I will be done with the show in the next um, thirty minutes, and then you can call to contribute. Okay. No problem. Thank I'm you so that. much. Thank you. All right. She actually wants to be anonymous from this, and she just wants to talk about it privately. So that's fine. Um. Somebody said nobody is really perfect. We just have to manage each other. But she do something good to spice it up in her marriage. What do you think she can do about this? Wanyoma, obochioma. Thank you so much. It's the same case of being with one partner for too long. Men will say you must not keep eating the only kind of soup. <laughs> Women will say I lost interest in him. Oh, oh, na egusi. Don't too much inside. You don't too much inside the system, but all that can change. How can it change? It's not about identifying the problem, for finding solution. To the existing problem and that's what we are here for okay this is Capri Sex Mondays and we discuss issues that affect men and women in their relationship in their personal life okay so our job on the show is to discuss things that people don't talk about and also find solution to them together okay I give you my ideas you give me your ideas you tell your own story I tell my own story you share your own solution I share my own solution and life collectively we help one another that is what the program is about all right uh, maybe the woman did not love her husband anymore that's why she lost attraction I don't think it's about love. You can love something and suddenly you don't have attraction for that same thing that you love. It happens, okay? 
it happens. Like some people can love their job and after a while they lose interest in that job, right? Some people can have interest in a particular thing they do and after a while they lose interest in that. It happens. You guys should understand that it happens. It's normal. It happens. Hello? Hello? Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Welcome to the show. Uh oh, um, he, the network just hung that man up. Um, now small boy don't eat madame. What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Please, are you on YouTube? I want to subscribe. Yes, I am on YouTube, and this program is gonna go on YouTube after now. It is Angeloma. Just write my name, Angeloma. A N G E L O M A. To subscribe to the channel we always upload videos weekly and there are too many things you can watch on youtube yes there are too many so go to youtube check up my check out my videos i have a lot of teaching videos that are already up there i, I just put out some of the content on facebook but youtube is where you get everything yes exactly so thank you for asking that question you should start dating themselves again they should start dating themselves again hmm. i think married women Married people lose interest in sex because they lack creativity in bed, especially when they are married to somebody boring in bed. I like that that um, um, observation. A lot of married people lose interest in sex with their partner all because they do not know how to spice their sex life. I agree with you. Kudos, Henry. Thank you so much for that contribution. And... Um, Somebody said, I'm calling and you're not picking up. I'm sorry, please. Can you call back? Maybe somebody else was calling at the same time. Sorry about that. Please call back again. It's only the both of them that can solve the problem by communicating, which is a vital thing in the relationship. Okay. So both of them should communicate. It's only the two of them that can actually um work who is that person that is putting his phone number here please don't put your phone number on the comment section we don't do that here don't put your phone number on the comment section she <laughs> uh i don't know if i keep seeing this she tested another dick or the person just keep repeating it i don't know how on earth do we treat issues we don't really know people should start telling you all the stories at least we can all the story about it at least we can advise i don't understand how you said that um how on earth can we um I, I don't know what you're saying i do not understand that can you explain better do she still love her husband that's the first question to ask apparently yes she does she does love her husband because she said i always have intention of having sex with my husband so i believe that she does love her husband <laughs> somebody said this is a stupid question <laughs> hello Hello. Hi, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Welcome to the show. I'm calling from, my name is Okama. I'm calling from Germany. Hi, you're welcome um, from Germany. I'm watching your program. Yes, thank you. And uh, based on what you said mm -hmm. um, before, like, this woman has a very perfect husband uh, and she doesn't have problem with money and uh, everything is perfectly fine with her. Mm -hmm. So, I believe perfectly that um, the issue here mm -hmm. is that this woman married um, someone who is much older than her. Oh, okay. And uh, and right now, mm. the man is getting very much older and she is much younger. Mm. And uh, because of this issue, you know, having, you know, all this uh, you know, plating the with your husband. Mm -hmm. She sees the body. It doesn't. I mean, it's, she's not it's excited not about it. Understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she can no longer look at the man. You know, it it, it educates her, and uh, she doesn't find the man attractive anymore mm -hmm. because the man is very much older. And then um, she goes out to see her mates. They are young and active, and her husband is. Less active, you know, all this kind of thing. So mm. I believe that this is because the man, according to her description, the mm -hmm. man is a very is a good, good man, man good job, a job, everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I believe that is a uh, age different. The okay. What do you think is the solution today? What do you think she can do about that? She, 
There's nothing she can do about it. I mean, it's a decision from the beginning, and then it should be her decision to the end. Okay. The man is older than her. She has to ignore that mm-hmm. and then focus herself, I mean, her eyes, and imagine something attractive, you know. Mm-hmm. Imagine your man is uh, the most handsome man, <laughs> and then, then she can, she can, she can just sit. I yeah. mean, because there is no other option. Mm, mm, yeah. mm. Okay, so you're saying that uh, the man, the woman should just imagine that her husband is happy. All right, thank you so much for that. Thank you. All right, some people are trying to call me on WhatsApp, and if you call me on WhatsApp, you're going to disrupt this show. Please do not call me on WhatsApp. I'm hoping you hear me. Please do not call me on WhatsApp. Call me directly on the phone, okay? Call me directly on the phone if you want to get uh, the best out of this because this is the same phone that has the WhatsApp, and if you call on WhatsApp, you're going to disrupt the show. You don't want that. Okay, so um, she is saying that... The, the woman might have married an older man. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Hello? 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 Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Welcome to the show. All uh, right, then I'm Shedra by name. I'm calling from Abuja. Hi, Shedra from Abuja. You're welcome. So go ahead and contribute. Actually... I look at it in the aspect of maybe the way the man is looking or maybe is appearing, mm-hmm. the way maybe the man is dressing. Mm-hmm. Actually, maybe she feel like maybe the man is not appearing the way he look like. Mm-hmm. Exactly. For my own opinion, the man maybe, I don't actually know, mm-hmm. but the man should try maybe to be dressing in such a way that maybe you would attract attract it to her yes but what if the man doesn't even know and from that moment the woman will work it out Mm. okay we talk to your husband maybe if the woman is financial buoyant we went to market Mm -hmm. but just some things that maybe he will look at it that if my husband Mm -hmm. dresses such way i will admire and i will like it okay okay exactly all right exactly thank you so much for your contribution i believe that maybe in that aspect, mm. the woman may come back, begin to love her, begin to feel for her, okay. and things will move well. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, All right. So um, somebody said something, and I needed to read it out. If she is on any hypertensive, diabetic, or antidepressant, she it can actually cause it. My sister, thank you so much for that. And that is true. Hello? Hello, please can you put up your Facebook so that you can hear me? I just picked up your call and you're hearing me from Facebook. Hello. Hi, good evening, ma'am. What's your name and where are you calling from? You're welcome to the show. Okay, my name is Peace. I'm calling from Ibadan. Hi, Peace from Ibadan. You're welcome. So go ahead, contribute. Okay, um, my contribution is that the, 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 we don't have a, um, a problem to this issue. Yes. Because she didn't come out straight to tell us this is the reason why. Mm-hmm. So whatever saying now, we're actually trying to assume. Yes. The but the, the truth is, she but doesn't know, even know why it is. She says suddenly she feels this way. She doesn't know why. Okay. Yeah. If she doesn't know why, this solution actually lies lies on her, mm-hmm. not her husband. Mm-hmm. Because man, men are so sensitive when you tell them that you are not attracted by them or you're not attracted to them mm. anymore. So we put up immediately. Mm-hmm. So she needs to be very careful when trying to pass that message to your man. Mm-hmm. Because once you pass it to your man and he starts thinking, okay, this could be the reason why the man will be cut out. Mm-hmm. He, 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 the interest will just die a natural death. Yes. And you see that the man will start looking outside. Yes. It so gets worse. Personally, she should work on herself. She should have acknowledged that this is my problem. Mm-hmm. The woman is very intelligent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she, she she knows her problem. Mm-hmm. The only thing that she needs to come straight to you directly to tell you this is the reason why I lost this interest. Mm-hmm. And how do I go about it? Because nobody didn't like get me. Mm-hmm. Thank yeah. you she so much. Come out and I think that because if she tells her husband, if the husband is not mature enough, he will just zone out and get worse. Yeah. Yeah, it will be so, the man will be 
Thank you so much for that contribution. I love it. Thank you so much. All right. Um, so you guys have heard it and it is time for Angel Oma to say what she has to say about this herself. Thank you so much, everybody that have contributed. Thank you so much, everybody that have actually answered something, commented, told us where you're watching from. You are so nice to me and I appreciate you all. Mwah. Thank you, thank you. Especially those that called me in and my WhatsApp members. I got some calls from my WhatsApp members. Yes, I identified you guys. I know it's you. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for calling in. Thank you so much for contributing and thank you for being with me live on the show. If you're watching on replay, thank you for watching. Please con continue contributing because some contributions can help and people can actually get an advice from it. Now is my turn. Now, if you guys know me very well on this show, what I do is when I advise, I advise the person that sent in the story and I advise the opposite, which is the man or the other person. I advise, I advise the man and I advise the woman or I advise the woman. And I adv the reason is, even though we are using this particular case as a case study, I also want to reach out to as many people as I can, even if they do not tell their own story, but they can understand or they can put themselves in the picture. All right, so I'm going to start with talking to the woman herself. Now, first of all, you are not alone. That's the first thing. A lot of people are saying the woman is, women have problem, the woman is sleeping around, the woman is this, the woman, that is not true. A lot of women and men are going through this, especially in marriages where everything is not perfect because there's no perfect marriage in the first place. There might be under underlining issues that you might have that affect your sexuality. For example, if you are always sick, your sickness can affect your sexuality. If you're always sad, it has nothing to do with sex. But because you're always sad, it will interpret in your sexual life if there are things that are not going good now she described that her husband has a good job so she was talking about the financial aspects she's also described that she's not overworked because she has uh, you know a help and all that which is also showing that these ones are the good ones but you didn't tell us where things are going wrong now what i'm going to tell you in the beginning is number one identify where the issues are are. It must not be sexual. It might even be non-sexual. What are the things that you're not happy about in your marriage? What are the things that are not really set in the way you imagine it? That does not mean that you're right. Just identify them, okay? Now, if you identify some of these things, it could be some of the things some people suggested here, the fact that your husband is older, the fact that he doesn't dress well, the fact that he doesn't do some of the things that he used to do to you when you guys were dating or when you had your first child, you know, spicing things that he used to do that he doesn't do anymore. It can even be the fact that you yourself, you're boring and, you know, over time, your husband has also withdrawn and then everything just went haywire. So it's in your position now to identify what are the things that you as a woman can say these are the things that are not great in my marriage and if you find those things the next thing to do is to communicate now i agree with my sister the last caller who said be careful how you communicate those things don't just go to your husband and say i don't feel attracted to you anymore your dick irritates me and things like that guess what it's going to it will counterbalance. What is going to happen is he's going to lose interest completely. Yes, because he's going to be like, just like some people here that were saying, oh, she's sleeping with another man. Oh, she's, she doesn't love me either. Oh, that's what your husband would do. Yes, exactly. So don't do that. Communicate effectively. If you want to know how to communicate well, I teach it in my WhatsApp group. I'm sorry I'm saying it now, but I teach communication in my WhatsApp. So if you want to actually learn to communicate well, because I cannot really explain communication in the totality of it within five minutes okay it's a, it's a deep thing you can join the whatsapp group to get the deep knowledge about communication but the second thing you need to do is to communicate express those things that are issues in a very nice way for example 
Honey, did you notice that all those days you used to take me out for dinner? So you stopped. Why? What happened? See now, me, I'm, I'm missing all the ways you used to take me out for dinner. Are you, are you saying that it's affecting the way we are even, you know, enjoying one another? You see, you identify an issue, you're able to communicate the issue and how it's affecting you to him. And he'll be like, hmm, that's true. I don't even remember saying we did, you know, and only they go on a date again. Ah, that's true. This work self is stress. Honey, but we, you know, nah, work, work, work. Okay, let's see how we can do this. Why don't we go, why don't we do once a month? You see, that is communication. If you don't know how to communicate, please join my WhatsApp group. You would learn communication. I guarantee you that. You would learn communication. If you don't know how to communicate effectively, which a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't. And that's the reason why I teach it. Please join my WhatsApp group. Send a message in the inbox and ask me how to join the WhatsApp group. I will tell you how to join because we don't just put out our contact. Some people will say, Angela, I'm send me a link. We know they send link. Angela, I'm gonna give me your number. I know they give you my number. So don't ask me that. Send an inbox and you will see the procedure because we have a procedure. It's not everybody that joins the WhatsApp group. So you join the WhatsApp group and you learn communication and other things. But this is just this. That's number two. So you communicate effectively. Number three thing you can do is to talk to a therapist a therapist a psychologist or a doctor now the reason why i said that is it could be a condition a medical condition okay now some people are going through something there is actually a psychological name for it. I don't want to call it so that you guys in your brain will not just go crazy. But there is a psychological name for it. Some people that go through the fact we have something that they are pleasurable about, they just lose it. They lose interest. Some people lose interest in their children. Some people lose interest in their job. Some people lose interest in their marriage, in their work, in anything. They can even lose interest in being in, the partic in themselves. They just start hating themselves so it happens okay some people go through like depressions and other things right so it's like that so the third thing you can do is to talk to a therapist and a coach and i'm glad you actually spoke to me and sent in your story so you can actually book a consulting session with me so that we together can identify the number one i told you to identify just in case you cannot identify it by yourself okay that's the third thing you can do you can Actually, talk to a therapist. It doesn't have to be me. You can talk to a coach. You can talk to a gynecologist or a psychologist. These are the qualified people you should talk to. Please, do not go and talk to your teacher or your father or your uncle or your pastor. Except if your pastors are in these categories I mentioned or your uncle is in these categories I mentioned. I said a coach, a therapist, a psychologist or a doctor. Those are the four people that I mentioned. So, go talk to one of them now if you're going to talk to a doctor make sure it's a doctor that deals with family family doctors that deal with relationships that has a little background understanding it's, i'm not talking about doctors that only deal with medical you can talk to a gynecologist you can talk to doctors if you are already on a medication like high blood pressure uh, diabetes uh, antidepressants and all that if you're already on a medication on that it could cause it so go back talk to your doctor and say look doctor i'm taking this drug and i'm noticing that i am not having feelings for my husband anymore sexually i have lost attraction i've lost everything what should i do he's going to help you and if he can't help you they can refer you to the right person because if you go to your husband and see a doctor a doctor can actually refer you to a, a psychologist Okay, a doctor can refer you to a therapist, a coach can refer you to a therapist, you know, it depends on who is qualified to handle the issue. So these are the three things to do. Number one, identify the issue. Number two, communicate to your partner about it. Number three, talk to somebody professionally. Okay, not just tell the story to the world and everybody give you their own advice. Those are the, the third thing to do. Number four that you can do is to start spicing things up for yourself. What do I mean? You may just relax and feel, I have intention of having sex with my husband, but I don't have feelings for it. And it happens and it goes off. What are the things you did to activate those intentions you have? Did you get yourself in the mood? Did you prepare your time? Did you sex with your husband? Did you, did you wear lingeries and look good? Did you role play? Did you do some of the things that can help you to activate your body to get you honey and to boost your libido? 
Okay, it's one thing to just have intention of doing something. It's another thing to prepare yourself to get that thing achieved. So find out some of the things you can do to spice up your marriage. If if um date night is lacking, add a date night. Talk about it. Do it. If taking a trip, a vacation, if both of you are always together and you're tired of seeing him every day, every afternoon, every night, take a trip. Take it. Just go. Spend some time out, miss him so that when you come home, you know, it's spice up. If children are the ones that are taking up all your space, like you're always busy with the kids, da, 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 da. so you don't have, your brain is all modern, 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 modern. You forget that you're a wife. You, you see what I'm saying now? You forget that you're a wife. You're always in the motherhood. You're always tying rapper. You're always doing homework. In your, I know you have a house help, but you, you know, your children have taken all the space. You transfer all the love to your children is affecting you to get back to loving and being excited and sexy about yourself. Okay. Um, somebody said you don't even need to mention pastors because Nigerian pastors claim to know everything. I'm not saying that. I said do not go to your pastor except if your pastor is in the categories I mentioned. Because there are some pastors that are medical doctors. There are pastors that are psychologists. Yes, there are. Go to them on that level as a psychologist or as a doctor, as a coach, or as a, um, as a therapist, okay? Go to them. Or go to your uncle, anybody. But make sure it's somebody that is qualified. That's the reason why I mentioned pastors. So those are the few things I'm going to talk to the woman about. Now, for men. A lot of men... From here, I, I noticed some of them were just mentioning that the women have a problem. It's not true. It's both ways, okay? It can happen to both a man and a woman. And this suggestion I gave to this woman, if you're in the same shoe where you don't have attraction for your husband, for your wife, do the same thing, okay? Now, if you're a woman or a man now that your own partner is not having attraction for you, there are things you can do too. Okay, try to get them, give them a peace, give them a space, give them time. It happens. Okay, talk to them, be there for them while they are going through what they're going through because they're not even happy going through what they're going through. They're not. Okay, don't think that your woman, because she's saying that she doesn't feel the way she used to feel for you, that that means that she's sleeping with somebody else. She is not. He is not and even if you have suspicion and all that for a lot of people that go and start checking phones checking this checking that it's at your own detriment because guess what how is it going to how is it going to help how is monitoring her monitoring him going to help how is it going to help or you just want to lose your marriage you want to lose your relationship is that what you want if that's what you want I wish you all the best. But anyway, as a man, if your wife or your husband as a, as a woman is going through this particular phase, be there for them. Talk to them. Enable them. Contribute to it. If you need to take them out, you know, spice it up. Do some role playing, which is another thing I teach in my WhatsApp group. If you have to do some role playing, you stop being husband and become, you know, something else for her you can if your wife likes some spices some crazy stuff you guys should do it okay try those things outside of the house you don't necessarily need to be in the house at all you need to go out even if you you want to try something you can try that dating as if both of you don't know each other you call and say you'll be escorts mm, i'm an escort um room 305 with me there and your husband, and your wife, and your husband, no man. Just do those things. Do those fun things. Try out those things to build back the love, the excitement. Because truth be told, after a period of time in marriage and relationship, it can never be the same. What would it be? It keep changing, keep evolving, keep advancing or decreasing. So it is left for you to either increase. Or decrease it as a married person. I'm talking to the married people now. That you're married. Before you get married, you notice that you guys are fun, 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 fun. But after marriage, it starts decreasing because there are other things in place. There is responsibility. There is children. There is job. There is this. There is that. There is even old age. So it can't be the same. It is now work 
that you need to do that will help that thing to grow. Um, you nurture things. Plant a tree today. It will grow and it will start that. If you don't nurture it, it will just die. Okay? It is natural. So stop making excuses that this person has done something bad. No, it can happen to anybody, including you. All right? Anyway, this is where I'm going to end today's show. I hope you learned something. And I hope you picked something from this topic. This show is not just about talking. It's about learning. And I'm happy you learned something. Please share this video with people around you. It's going to help somebody's life. And I appreciate you people staying with me. Sorry, those that stay from the beginning of um, the show to the end of it. I appreciate you all. If you want to join my WhatsApp group, you can send an inbox and send me a message that you want to join the WhatsApp group. Please do not write in the comment section your phone number or ask me, Angel Oma, give me your number. Give me the link. I do not do that. Okay? The WhatsApp group will be told you how to go in in the inbox and it is not free because we don't want everybody in the group we don't want children are not in our group immature people are not in our group irresponsible people are not in our group so we we actually screen people before you join the group it's not everybody that joins the group if you want to join our general group go to telegram all right so thank you so much for joining and i'll be seeing you next week monday for another interesting story if you have an issue if you have a story if you have a problem you're going through as a person please send me a message in the inbox book a consulting session i know nigerians and people in africa we don't really understand the essence of consulting with a professional I know we don't know that, but give it time. You need to talk to somebody that is a professional in the field that you're going through. Talk to me. I will help you in the way I can, okay? Send a message in the inbox and book a session with me. It's completely confidential. Nobody's going to know you. Nobody's ever going to know it's you. It's confidential between us. Everything between us is confidential and private. Thank you so much. I'll be seeing you next week. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And click the bell beside it to get notified anytime you join. Anytime I upload video. Somebody asked me, how much do you charge for the WhatsApp group? The WhatsApp group is very, very cheap. Over cheap, they worry. And your recharge card alone self can join the WhatsApp group. It's very cheap. But it's not about the money. It's about the knowledge and what you're going to get out of it. All right. Thank you so much. See you next time. Mwah. Mwah. Mwah.